Hello friends, welcome to Desi Teaching Videsh. So today I have brought you the urgent and recent PhD position in the field of mechanical engineering and civil engineering. And all of, for all of these PhD positions, deadlines are itself in May or in June. So you have to apply as soon as possible. We will go through the, all the details and how you have to apply. Okay. Okay, so here is the first PSD position and the deadline for this position is 31st of May. So you understand only 10 days are left. And this is in the field of civil engineering or physical geography or applied mathematics. So if you have the master's degree in civil engineering or mathematics or applied, uh, sorry, physical geography, you can apply. So the topic is basically the understanding and modeling lower shore phase sand transport. And this position is in the Netherlands, University of Twente. This is very, very good university. And so eligibility criteria, you already know, like you need must, you should have the master's degree in civil engineering, geography or mathematics, but mostly uh, I think in the engineering or mathematics field. So you should have like numerical or programming skills like in Python or in or MATLAB. So I, I always used to tell many times, it doesn't matter like in which field you are studying, please at least come have some command in the Python or MATLAB or other programming language, at least in the one programming language. And this is not like very tough. You can just learn by yourself. 10 or 15 days or you will just try and you can learn easily. Okay. So there are other basic requirements like data analytics and hyd hydraulic modeling software, for example, Delta 3D, XBeach, or any other software, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, and you will also, will and you will also get an opportunity to teach the undergraduates, right, in the field of civil engineering. Mm, and you should have good writing skills because definitely you need to write research article and you will learn also by doing the PhD, but at least you should have the good English come like uh, in writing or in communication. So they're asking the IELT certificate more than 6.5 band or equivalent means equivalent means either you can present like, uh, for example, certificate that you studied like your master's or bachelor in English, or you can also produce that TOEFL certificate or other certificate which can like certify that you have good command in writing and speaking in English. Okay. So what you will get like, so this is the four years PhD positions. Okay. The qualifying exam means just they will assess like, so when you will like, if you will do like in good manner, so it does not matter the six months or nine months assessment, right? So they will assess how you are going, how you are progressing. Well, good salary, right? Around 2,500, right? And it can increase up to the 3,100 or 3,122, uh, right? Per month. And other benefits you will also get. Okay, so this is very, very good position. And in my opinion, the university is very, very good. How to apply? So the, the application link I already put in the description box and here as well. And so you need to prepare these documents like cover letter. Cover letter here means the motivation letter, right? But the cover letter, why they wrote cover letter? Because PhD uh, generally in Europe is considered as a job, right? So cover letter and CV and all these document documents and all. But please remember that uh, maybe you cannot uh, upload maybe more than two or three documents. So what you need to do, you have to combine the documents, right? Merge, PDF merge. And how to merge these documents, you can just put in the Google PDF merge. So you can one, two, three, whatever documents you can merge in the single PDF, right? Uh, okay, so please remember that interview dates are already also written here, but first you need to apply. And the application date is 30th of May. Okay, the so second position is not PhD, but it is like a postgraduate degree in engineering. So this is basically if you have the master's in uh, civil engineering or environmental science or industrial ecology, you can apply for this position. This is a very good position. And this position is also at the University of Twente, Netherlands. And what is the topic for this position? The 
topic is like developing LCA and LCC models to support the sustainable valorization of building CDW in road payment infrastructure. So CDW basically means the construction and demol demolition waste, right? So the essential qualification masters in civil engineering, environmental science or industrial ecology and other requirements you can go through, right? So you should have the knowledge and like uh, related to the LCA, like life cycle assessment, right? and life cycle costing and material flow analysis. So these are the mandatory requirements you must have. And what you will do, this is also mentioned here, the activities, what you will do in this research, right? So these activities, I don't need to go through it, but uh, you can read carefully. Okay, so what you will get. So here also you will get the very good salary, means around 2000 euro, and definitely it will be increased. You will get other benefits and allows a lot of allowances. And you will get the funding like for the conferences, for publishing articles, and for the trainings. So a lot of like benefits you will get. And basically the project is very, very good. This is very renounced project. And this degree is like uh, very, very good because you are eligible to apply for the government jobs and very high food profile job after getting. This is not PhD. This is the like the postgraduate degree after master's, but this is well renounced degree. If you get this successfully, you will get a very, very go good job. Please understand this. So how to apply, like the link is here. And I also posted the link in the description box. You have to go through the link and uh, like documentation and everything is also mentioned here, what you need. And if you need my help, anytime you can just ask me, we can contact each other and then I can help to prepare the documents if you need my help. And one more thing, just I always used to tell, does, it does not matter you fulfill all the requirements or not. If you fulfill at least 60, 70, 70% requirements, you must apply. Because sometimes, for example, the PhD positions are vacant. The university got the funding, right? And if you think, okay, I cannot fulfill all the requirements and some other students, they will think like this. So you understand it cannot be vacant because the professors and the like lecturers, they need PhD students. So if you will not apply, means any other student will get the position, right? So please apply. Okay, now the, for the third position, last date is 21st of June. And this is also in the field of civil engineering, structural engineering or bridge engineering. What is this about? This is the PhD position in robust net assessment and improving of bridge structure, right? So it means that you should have the, some experience related to structural engineering, not, not experience because you means some background or some knowledge. So that's why the eligibility criteria, you must have degree, master's degree in civil engineering or structural engineering, bridge engineering or structural mechanics, right? And the ideal candidate, because this is related to the structure, so ideal candidate should have the background in structural uncertainty or liability analysis. Background means you, uh, background does not mean that you should have the industrial experience. Background means at least you should have the knowledge during your coursework or during your study or during your project something. And if you have the like SHM or structural health monitoring or damage detection or the structural maintenance some this type of knowledge, it will be advantage. This is not the essential requirement, but if you have, then it will be advantage for you and okay and abacus or ansys or this kind of software if you have the like this modding software or structural analysis software this is also this will be also good right you will have the upper hand then so the phd like what will you will do you already know this is related to the structural engineering so like basically you will like do the numerical simulation and reliability analysis and some laboratory work also. Like then basically what we do, like we do the experiment, we do the numerical modeling and we match. Okay, so these results are like matched or not. So we compare the results and then we write the research article. You understand? Because that's we do in the research work. Okay, so what you will get? You will also get around 2,500 salary and it can be increased up to 3,100 salary, right? You will get other benefits, a lot of benefits for family if you are like bring your wife or children. So you will get all these benefits and how to apply. This is already mentioned like how to apply and the link is here and the link also I will post on the description box and this position is in 
Alto University, Phil, and this is also one of the best university in the world. Okay, so for the next PhD position, the deadline is 6th of June, and this is in the field of mechanical engineering, material science, or chemi chemical or chemistry or physics. So basically, the topic is related to the short range class structure, and this is in the Alberg University, Denmark. So the, you should have the uh, like masters in mechanical engineering or chemical engineering, material science or physics or something related to the field, right? So if you uh, like have some background or study in this field, like related to the materials, for example, because the project like aims to accelerate the design of new glasses by using various computational techniques and processing techniques to tailor the atomic and microscopic structure. Right. So you will collaborate with other PhD students as well. Right. So the requirements like, for example, you should be have interest towards the interdisciplinary research environment means you have to like collaborate with the PhD students who are from the different field as well, because this is a part of one Euro project. And so many students uh, are working together. So this is very good renounced project. And you should have some experience or maybe work uh, like hand on experience in glass science or a structural characterization. And if you know like some programming, that is advantage means if you have like knowledge in programming, I always used to tell right about the programming. If you have knowledge about the programming, so definitely you will be preferred. You will have upper hand as compared to other candidates. Okay. Okay, so how to apply, like, so link I will provide here and, uh, sorry, the link I already provided here and also in the description box. So you need a cover letter and your CV and project description. So project description is already written in the link I will provide. So you just need to attach that project description as well, because for the technical reasons, you also have to attach in the online application, right? So, and other diplomas like uh, your degree, master's degree and transcript. So, and other relevant information, what you want, like this is very useful. For example, you attended some trainings or some research articles you have already. So definitely you have to submit as well, right? So please apply as soon as possible because deadline is 6th of June. Okay, so this is the last position and this is the postdoc position in the field of mechanical engineering, material science or applied mathematics at University of Twente, Netherlands. And so you must have the PhD degree, right? From mechanical, physics, material science, or applied science. First, definitely you must have the knowledge in English. As a, and if you have the computational and experimental techniques, for example, you already have like hand-on experience in like experimental part during your PhD. Definitely you will have, So, but you have to like uh, show during in your cover letter, right? Or motivational letter. So, and computational techniques, if you already have some experience, that is also good. So what like uh, you will get like for full time like uh, employment for 1.5 years and that is definitely will be extended. Please remember, because if somebody get the admission or somebody get like, uh, for example, exposure as a postdoc, so definitely he will be absorbed there or nearby, like even at the university or maybe nearby, because this is very good position. And uh, you will get all benefits like, uh, uh, for example, for your family and other health benefits, fringe benefits, holiday allows, a lot of like, it is a very good job basically for this, uh, like as per European standard, the postdoc is very good job, like uh, even highly reputed. Okay. And so how to apply the link I only provided here. And also I will put in the description box. So you have to go through this link and... Um, so all these like requirements already written here, you need like, uh, you have to submit your PhD thesis, your uh, publications and uh, CV cover letters. So all these documents you have to prepare and you have to submit. And please remember that you can upload only five documents. And uh, so if you need to like attach more documents, please combine in one single PDF. Okay, so that is all from my side and I will keep updating about your new PhD positions and in other fields and postdoc position, even the bachelor's and master's uh, like uh, stipends and positions for you. And But uh, you have to connect with me, right? For example, you, you, if you want to get notified, you have to put the like uh, click on the bell icon and also don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. And so stay connected with Desi Teacher Europe and see you in the next video. Thank you.